I bought one of the most recognizable cars that you can probably find. Now, I help sell cars through a little car lot, and I bought this through the car lot, and the plan is to sell it. However, I was going to do a couple things first that people usually do with these, and if on the crazy chance that this video gets 10,000 views, which is slightly less than what I think my best video has ever done, I'll keep the car if people enjoy it that much. And I know that there's a lot of these on YouTube, but let's get into it. Some of you would probably be able to tell what this is just by uh, just by looking at this. However, if the video title says what it is, then obviously you probably know. But we're going to wash it. We're going to take it easy because it's white. And these do not fare well with car washes. I almost don't have enough room to get the whole car in the shot because I can't move back any further and it's massive. Yeah, obviously. And it's super cold out today. It's like 25 degrees right now. So hopefully the car wash works. We're gonna try and get most of the snow off, most of this ice. We're gonna really be careful around this because the white that Ford used on these was garbage. It didn't stick. It was either the paint or the primer. Um, otherwise, it has fire stones on it. It needs a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of loving. And there's still some number residue on the side. It'll probably get buffed. I need to work on the trunk because there's a gap here that I don't think should probably be there. There's some paint peeling on the deck lid and whatnot, which is pretty much a given. It is a flex fuel car also even though we do not have ethanol around here. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Never in my life have I been so nervous to wash a car, which is stupid because it's, a, it's an 11 year old Ford, but a little bit of the paint came off there. And as I said before, I'm gonna try and buff this out. Some of that's still dirty. Jesus, I spent $7 on a car wash. All right, let's talk about some of the weird things. The first one is, this actually has cruise control. And most of the interceptors did not have cruise control from when they were ordered, or so what I've been told. However, the interceptors, you can put the steering wheel in and activate cruise control at a dealership. This also has adjustable pedals. And I didn't think most of these came with adjustable pedals either. So let's look at the interior a little bit. It has 102,000 miles and 46, 42 hundred idle hours. And it's got the 4.6, obviously, uh, the auto, which all these came in auto, basic radio. It has carpet, which I thought was a little bit odd, because I thought most of these had sort of a rubbery type floor. I could be wrong. It has uh, cloth front seats and a vinyl rear seat. Yeah. I wonder what's under here. Probably crazy things. Um, another thing I did know, these have plates in the back of the seats for knives, like, so you can't stab through them. Another interesting option with these cars was that you could get ballistic door panels, or inserts in the doors, so it would protect against gunfire, but I don't think that this has those because I thought it was supposed to be a tag up here that said something. Yeah. Another important detail that I overlooked as I closed the door is that the rear doors do not open from the inside. And yeah, at least 
there's no, at least there's, a, <laughs> at least there's no police cage in here. Otherwise, I would be stuck here till someone could come get me out. Anyways, yeah. So, let's wipe this down because I couldn't get it entirely clean. I'm going to focus on the points of issues like the front fender. You can probably see that out on there. This door and a couple other places. I'm going to try and get the residue off, try and get any marks off. I can't do anything about that, but I can do stuff. I can, yeah, I can clean that up a little bit. So here we go. Gonna do a uh, polishing or buffing compound and then probably polishing compound and just see how it turns out. If it starts to chew away paint or anything, I'm stopping and I'm not gonna do it. Let's get started. Let's see what happens. That seriously did not work. I wanted something that worked a little bit faster than the um, the buffer because it didn't really work that great. Even though this is a little bit stubborn. Um, isopropyl alcohol. And no, I'm not sure if it will damage paint. It could. But like... I tried like 10 times to show that this shit would take this off, and every single time it didn't want to, but it will, okay? Watch this. takes a little bit of elbow grease, but it will come off. And here's the after. Those are scratches. Those are some paint chips. But it is a lot better.
I'm not a professional by any means, but I'd say that looks quite a bit better. So now that I've done a little bit of work, I wanted to talk about something. And on September 28th, 2017, I released a video that was titled, Ever Wonder Why Someone Would Own an Ex-Cop Car? And that video was with a 2006 Crown Vic. Well, someone got it stuck in a snowdrift once and burnt the transmission up trying to get it out. I talked to him like, yeah, I'll see if I can... Because I was a, a lot younger at the time and was like, yeah, I'll make it work. No, it didn't work. Uh, I put Lucas in it and that's all I did. Uh, it would go in reverse, and that was it. And if you let off the gas and then got back into it, it wouldn't it wouldn't move. So, <clears throat> unless you guys absolutely blow this video up, okay, I said 10,000 views in 10 days by the time this gets released. If it gets 10,000 views, I'll keep the car. Uh, the plan right now is... I want to do a couple things to it, non-invasive, obviously. I want to do a bumper tuck and probably clean it up a little bit, do some maintenance. Uh, and I think that's about it. And you can find me on Instagram at just another car channel. There might be one or two more videos on this doing the bumper tuck and maybe a couple other things, cleaning it up. Even though it's pretty clean. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> Who knows? I might be on to like a seventh car by the time in a week from now. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, raise hell, praise Dale. Because I know that Cletus is... is the spirit of Cletus is with me for this. <laughs> Have a great one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh...